Yo, this is your boy Fat Man. Thank you for turning back. Welcome to Dubbed Out. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff today, and this is going to come out pretty sooner than next week. It's probably going to come out this week, actually. So, Dubbed Out, we're talking about Stranger Things. Stranger Things Season 5, final season, is coming to a wrap-up. They're wrapping that bitch up. It's the end of Stranger Things. I kind of can't wait. These actors are all grown up. They're older, they're looking good, and everybody has been, I think, putting their careers on hold for Stranger Things. And I hopefully all of these actors take their careers to the next level. I can't wait for the final season. I can't wait for all the actors to get better performing like jobs, better this, better that. I just can't wait because you and I both know uh, Millie Bobby Brown's the only person been putting in work. Yes, that one of the actors are they're also putting in a lot of work, but I do think Stranger Things has been holding a lot of them back. And this is not just gonna be the final time they're on this show. They're all older, much grown. Kinda can't wait for Stranger Things. Uh, season five to come out and let me know what you guys think in the comments below deadpool spotlight i'm not gonna lie to you there's one thing in this trailer i have seen and i'm waiting for besides the two page jo joke it's lady deadpool not just lady deadpool the whole deadpool core or corpse or what the fuck they're called is right behind and then there's the cute fucking dog and then there's them getting back to the real world they're showing a lot in this tv spotlight but i really do think this is going to be a popping fun fucking deadpool just so much going on and the mcu and explosions and incursions and just all the crazy shit the tva i, I can't wait i can't wait for this movie it needs to come out today, not tomorrow. I need it because this is going to be fun. And I love the line, they have Hugh Jackman playing this role until he's 90. <laughs> that That is killer. Let me know what you think about the Deadpool trailer, uh, spotlight trailer. Let me know what you think. Let me know, do you think Lady Deadpool is Taylor Swift? Because I kind of think it's Taylor Swift. Let it be heard in the comments below because, oh my God, I can't wait. I don't know how I talk about Twilight of the Warrior. It just looks like a fucking incredible martial arts action fucking movie that's coming out. And it just looks badass. Like, this looks badass. I don't know much about it. I don't know much about the story going on. I don't know Jack Dibbly Shibbly Doop. But when that shit comes out, you're, I love martial arts fest. I love criminal underworld style movies and all those depictions. I kind of can't wait to tune in, check it out, see what's happening. Let me know what you think. Have you heard of this? Have you heard of the creators? Do you know any of the actors? Because to me, this shit looks banger. Like, they whoop in some serious butt, and it looks fun. Like, martial arts movies don't get the credit they deserve. Choreography, acting, fun, goofiness. I think this art needs to be expressed more, and the badassery. And I'm not gonna lie, it gives me a Kung Fu Hustle vibe. Like, I never liked Kung Fu Hustle. I like Shaolin Soccer, but other things like Kung Fu Hustle, this looks good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Terminator being turned into an animated movie, I'm not gonna lie to you right now, it seems very different. I mean, now we're getting the viewpoint of what Terminators becoming human have to do with anything. The destruction, Judgment Day, and what happens next, especially the person that we're kind of catching the eye on. The creations of the Terminators, what's gonna happen in the future, and the lead up to the end of it. Or we're just starting right at the end of everything and then a flash forward in time. Like all of what's happening just looks crazy to me and I kind of can't wait. Like I'm not gonna lie. I love the Terminator series, but an anime version is gonna kick so much ass leading up to Judgment Day and the whole Sarah Connor story is even in this. So let's fucking go. What you think? Uh, I kind of can't wait because Yo, Terminator Zero looks fire. Let's get it. Oh, so if you ever wanted to know where those SpongeBob uh, anime shorts or music videos came from, it was this YouTube channel. Like the YouTube channel covering like right here. It was this guy. He's also looking for Japanese voice actors. Like he's looking for voice actors that are ja no Japanese or a Japanese voice actor trying to get uh, the Spongebob anime kind of taken off the ground, even though, yes, it's not licensed by Nickelodeon, I do think the love for Spongebob and just anime in general is getting popping right now. So somebody connect with this dude and help him get a Japanese voice actor and somebody that really knows what the fuck they're doing. 
I really do want to see a Spongebob anime. I kind of like, whoa, whoa, this is the dude that creates the stuff. Like, them joints was popping. They became memes all over the internet. The internet just took Spongebob and ran with it. It's, it's crazy creepypastas. Honestly, check that channel out because to me, this looks interesting. Help out a creator. I don't know if anybody still cares about multiverses, but they're adding, uh, well, Mr. Smith. And honestly, Agent Smith looks like a good addition to the whole thing. He's an ass kicking ass character. He's part of that fucking Matrix world. And I, I think they're gonna add Neo eventually. They probably already did. But Agent Smith just seems cool. What gets me about multiverses is it's trying to be a Smash Brothers clone, but it's it needs to do a little more better than just be a Smash Brothers clone. You gotta, if you're adding all of these characters from like the Warner Brothers projects, you really gotta go and dive in deep. I really feel like Warner Brothers is just lackluster doing their best and it's not even enough. Like, oh, like, yeah, this is what we're doing. But like, put a little more effort into actually making a game. You throw Agent Smith in there, motherfucker, do better. Do better than just Agent Smith. That's what I think. But let me know what you think about multiverses. Basically, for Mortal Kombat 1, Tech, Tech on? Tech, Tech Knight? Tekken? Tekon has come to Mortal Kombat 1, and personally, he looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. So I think he's one, like, one of the Lin Kuei, Kuan, Lin Kuei clan members, or I'm probably wrong about that, where he just is more technology than ninja. Eventually, they become more technology than ninja, so it's eventually something in the timeline. But, you know, Luke Kang restart the timeline, but the ninja is still part of the tech clan, so, you know... It's a bunch of crazy shit. I do think this whole universe uh, Luke Kang created is gonna get fucking bolted over. I believe all of the, the universes from all of the games are gonna somehow be created. So like how Luke Kang became this or Jax, it's just gonna go down the line. I do say for one thing, the gameplay looks good, the combat looks fire, the finishers, oh my God, like, Fucking incredible. I do think Mortal Kombat has done a good job with this character. And look, Mortal Kombat 1 has always done a good job. A lot of people just miss, miss the big titty sexiness, you know? Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. But let me know what you think about Tekken. Laura Croft is coming to Dead by Daylight. Listen, 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 listen. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, I don't play Dead by Daylight, but I'm glad this character is getting the love she deserves. It's her, Indiana Jones, and Nathan Drake. These characters get the love that they deserve. And no Laura Croft is number one, that character that's got to get her love. Especially a Dead by Daylight game. I'm thinking she's the character that survives the most, has most of the fun, has most of the sexiness and the coolness. So I do think having her in that game is popping. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Wonderful choice for Dead by Daylight or a terrible choice? Let it be heard. Video games, City of Ashes. A oh, listen. I'm not sure about what the f this game is. It just looks like a straight, random, stupid brawler with just punching, kicking, simple shit. It's what it says, that's MMA skills. But to me, the shit is fucking weird. <laughs> it just, it, it looks like a fun game. Don't get me wrong. It's just a lot going on with fun games, fun energy, and all of that. Like, this game looks fun. It just looks like you should just play it to beat some ass. The trophies might be ass, <laughs> the collecting might be stupid. It just looks like a random beat em up and I'm, I'm okay with that. Let me know what you think from some of this. If you wanna watch the trailer yourself, go ahead, leave the comments below. I think it looks like dog shit. <laughs> Peace. Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, The Dark Beginnings. I ain't gonna lie, the trailer's nice, the trailer is fire, and Shadow looks good, the story looks good. I seen some gameplay online and it's giving me a, it, I feel like, I feel like after this, we're gonna get a Sonic Adventures Battle 2 remake. I don't know why. Shadow's Resurgence is happening because of Sonic uh, Movie 3 and all that stuff. So we don't know what's gonna happen with this character. And this character does get a lot of love from the fan base. Knuckles got his own TV show, which was, uh, could've did way better than that. Kid Cudi didn't have to be in it and the shit was ass. Also, I do like the fact that they're focusing on Shadow Knuckles and other characters because Sonic is more than just, yeah, it's Sonic, but it's also all his other characters get a lot of fleshed out love too. So let me know what you think about the gameplay. I fuck with it. I think it's nice. I like the trailer. It just gives beauty to that character. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Xbox, I would never think this. This game is coming to Xbox and it's, it's Star Wars Bounty Hunters. Now, 
I don't know about y'all, but I actually have a copy of Star Wars Bounty Hunters for the GameCube, uh, to believe it or not. And I remember I was buying this a long time ago and somebody wrote in the, they wrote something inside the book saying this is what started the Mandalorian. This is like the inspiration of it. And I was like, you know what? I didn't even think about it. Yeah, Star Wars Bounty Hunters for the GameCube, PlayStation. It's just that popular ass game that's been around for a long fucking time. So personally to me, I kind of can't wait. Uh, Shouts to Xbox. I'm probably might stream that for like the GameCube. Pro as old as dirt, you probably might not like any of it. But this is an old game and that's just been a little bit updated for Xbox. So personally, I kind of can't wait. Shouts to Star Wars Bounty Hunters and shouts to those Mandalorian lovers. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The studio that worked on the incredible show Arcane now wants to work on Vagabond. This is Impact Manga that was created and tells the fictional story of Masashi Miyamoto. This manga is every person should read type of manga. Yes, it's one of those fictional mangas, but a lot of manga creators really take inspiration. And the studio that wants to create Vagabond into an anime, they say they want to do it right because adaptations got a bad rep, especially the Berserk adaptation, which is something that they do mention and something that they want to take their sweet time with and actually work on and create. Let me know, have you read Vagabond? Have you watched Arcane? Do you think this studio can take on such a uh, incredible project and actually be successful? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, this is Fat Man. I appreciate you for coming to the channel. Thank you for watching this series. Dubbed Out is something I'm kind of working on for these past, you know, few weeks. This is the third week of the channel and I kind of like the feeling of this. Let me know what you think of the series. Make sure to stay tuned for mid news. It's coming out Thursday because Friday, uh, I got some shit to do and I won't be around until next week. So let me know what you think in the comments below about all the stuff we talked about from anime to movies. Let it be heard. What's your favorite stuff coming out? What's something you want to know? Are you going to go watch Deadpool? Let it be heard in the comments below. This is your boy. Thank you. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell time to be notified. And for me, you remember to never give up, never surrender, keep it around in peace. And I am out of here. Have a good one. Sure. Yeah, been on drum. Yeah, been on drum. You little niggas gonna stop you acting like my shit ain't the grill. Here's the last Some of you one. niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. I got you. I ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How we feel to be golden